Welcome to a how-to of bat.nex 0.9, um, this time how to emulate an inner outer knob on the multi-panel um, which only has uh, one knob, it just looks like two knobs but it's only one. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna emulate um, the behavior of the radio panel ET with the multi-panel using local variables. Um, I've been loading uh, Chesna 172 because um, it's easy to um, show it off with it since you can manipulate the values while it's not flying. So I'm sitting um, on the Munich airport with um, the default SimConnect base profile loaded. <coughs> and as you um, know, perhaps the um, altitude display um, is bound to the altitude lock variable from the simulator and um, clockwise turn will increment it by 100 and uh, counterclockwise will decrement it by 100. Um, <clears throat> for this demonstration I will use um, the Glidescope Reverse Approach button to toggle the knob mode. So first of all we delete all events that are bound to this um, ref button and then we go back to the display of the altitude. So now we need to alter um, the clockwise turn and the counterclockwise turn to reflect our variables. So we go to the clockwise turn, say edit event, and now we add a condition and create a new local variable. Uh, we name it um, multi-panel knob mode and create it and say if it equals 0 which is the default we will increment by 100 and then we added the counterclockwise exactly the same we say We select our multi-panel knob mode. Again, if it equals zero, we shall decrement by 100. So by this change, the behavior of the knob did not change at all. So counterclockwise will decrement by 100, and clockwise will increment by 100. Now we add an additional event to clockwise and counterclockwise turn. So we turn it clockwise. And again, we bound it, bind it to our knob mode and say if it equals 1, we want um, again the autopilot pilot, um, altitude lock variable. And then we say we increment it by 1000 and do the same for the counterclockwise. Um, using the recent here, so we want to have our local variable if it equals 1. Again, we change the value of <coughs> the altitude log var and decrement it by 1000. So basically um, we have now programmed <coughs> the knob to have two modes, the 100 um, feet decrement or increment or the 1000 decrement or increment, but right now <coughs> only the 100 is active because the variable always will have the value 0. So now we need um, something to switch this variable. You can bind it to basically every button or every condition. So I'm using the reverse button because I don't use it usually. So what we do now, if we press <coughs> the button shortly and um, yeah, we change our variable and that local variable we're gonna change and set it to 1 if you press it shortly. 
and we change the light mode of the button to show us the mode. So multi panel ref shall be short mode on in this case. So that we can see that we are in the 1000 mode. And we add an event. We deactivate in short press. We change our local variable to zero and turn off the button mode. That's it basically. So now if I let's select that one so we can see it will highlight. I press the ref button. You will notice it comes on because the variable now got the value that you want and if I now turn the knob it will increase by 1000 or decrease by 1000. If I press it again Oops, press too long, ah, the light will go out and I'm back to the 100 mode. I press again, I'm in the 1000 mode, press again and I'm in the 100 mode. That's it, pretty easy and you can do it with every knob, with every button. Um, using the conditions and local variables, um, you have an unlimited number of functions you can program. Thanks for watching, see you next time.